I'm gonna have yours because it's in a big sharp TV. Funny how it's all written in German, but they're not made in Germany. It doesn't say where it's made, but definitely China. They just got a genuine sharp tube. And the pins on the cord on this is not insulated, not sleeved pins. Good quality components in this too, good quality capacitors, nipple and chemical capacitors and everything in this. Nice resistors too, look at those resistors. These TVs are a good source of components, especially resistors like that. There's a component uh, AV processing board in there. I wonder if I can um, come up with some sort of custom interface. A custom interface, so I can just plug in a HDMI or a RGB PC and put to the TV. Might be interesting. Good soldering. Butch cap under there with some uh, Celastic helmet on. There's an amplifier. We've got 12 watt, 6 ohm speakers. 13 by 8 centimetres. Maybe a coin capacitor. I like the shape of those heat sinks, really cool. I wonder what sort of amplifier chips in this thing. Don't know. High voltage capacitor in there. 105 degrees Celsius. Special high voltage um, electric in there, it looks like. In its own little sleeve and Celastic on. Just there. How cool is that capacitor all protected like that? Shorter from the heat, see? Good idea. I like what I've done there. There must be a resistor or something in here where the diode path to rectify the high voltage. It's quite long. It's quite a tall flyback. There's not much uh, for winding as FVS coil in there though. Uh, let's uh, set it back up a lot and uh, we'll power it up. Look at that 15 watt resistors. Look how beefy they are. Nice. This has got a decent base in this one. Nice big wide base. So it stands up properly. It's uh, quite a short neck tube. Now that make for this easy. Let's power it up. Ooh, full of static on this thing. This will still, still have a bit of a charge. Not front feet in it though. This is all that's holding the TV up and tipping forward. <laughs> this is just broken off. Ooh, static discharge. Not a good idea when I'm bloody sweating like a pig. Not a good idea to play with the TV. It seems to work. No games? No. What's in feature? Three back, VM. Interesting. No games though. Oh, cheap Centrex. I've confirmed Centrex TVs were sold at Kmart. I was trying to think where they were before, but Centrex is a Kmart brand. Or was. Well, filled up charge in there. Power save, really? What power is it saving? It consumes uh, 145 watts. This is made in Malaysia. 105 watt, 145 watts. Plasma TV is a bit more than that. It's probably at least the late 90s. The late 90s, early 2000s. What a cap made just before they mandated sleeved pins on cords. AV stereo, metal grill, speaker grills. I'll take one of the speakers out, see, see one of the speakers on the front. Alright. Turn this light on. Yeah, look at that, nice speaker. The frame's in good nick too. You don't get speakers like that in flat panel TVs nowadays. No way. These are quite decent speakers. It's one thing that these TVs had, these older ones, even these cheaper ones, SPC and BPCs had, was better bloody speakers. Especially rear projection sets, they had the best, well, best for sound. As I was saying, a rear 
projectors are the best for sound. Now you're going to buy a separate sound bar of every TV you buy nowadays. They'll fire them in for half the price now. A separate sound bar for your TV is the norm nowadays. The speakers are then built in the front panels are so shit it's not funny. They've got those stock integrated speakers and TVs now. You won't be worth it.